Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to another theme park news room update. Now, today we're going to talk about Worlds of Fun in Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, it's closed today. Boo! But there could be excitement around the corner. Yay! Uh, because we've got refurbishments going on for the 2022 season, but the big news is a rumour on 2023. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you do like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you don't miss YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers and a million views. Let's get there as soon as possible, please! Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's see what's happening at the Worlds of Fun. Not the Worlds of Fun, just Worlds of Fun. So for 2022, they posted a new blog update where they detail some new changes in the park. This includes details on a major restoration of the park's La Taxi Tour antique car attraction for 2022, the refurbishment of the Bamboozler ride, which is a super roundup, plus a little more on the refurbishment of the top cap of the Destinator Towers. According to the blog, the cap is being refinished and repainted. When they put the cap back on, the inside of the cap will also be decorated with the signatures of those who work at the park. 2023, though, is where the magic happens. While we don't know much yet, Screamscape understands early whispers that Worlds of Fun may be preparing to install their next major ride for the 2023 season. Even better, there's a good chance the new attraction will be a new roller coaster, something the park hasn't added since the Prowler way back in 2009. The message from Screamscape. It's quite simple, really. Stay tuned. Now, obviously, we have no idea where this is going to go. However, what I've done is I've used my trusty Google Maps and picked out a couple of different sites for their next major roller coaster. So let's take a look, shall we? So site number one in question on your screen now, Fandabby Toozy. Uh, this is, for me, a decent opportunity for a site. It could be a really good opportunity. Now, the reason why I say it's a good opportunity is look at the space they could work with they've got some decent space um sort of next to uh patriot uh they've got this little area next to their wind seeker attraction where the cotton blossom barbecue is uh they could work a station in there they could really work a nice coaster around the sort of um area of the park and i think there's a real cool opportunity here to really work um an interesting new coaster design around that area now, obviously this is just one site. Let's have a look at the next one. The second site on your screen now is where one of the old theater spaces. is. Now, obviously this is a bit of a long shot, uh, but I think, you know what, since they're doing up their antique cars attraction, I thought, you know what, just do, just, just, just opposite, over the top, you've got that theater space there and a massive bunch of Greenland near the detonator. How about you do a nice coaster to really wrap up the refurbishments around that area of the park. Now, like I said, you've got the uh, um, Antiques Car Attraction one side, Detonator right up the top the other side. Why not have a massive new coaster in between to sort of signal the staying changes over the next couple of years? So for me, you know, I reckon this could be uh, a very interesting attraction. Now let's share my thoughts on everything that's going on with the refurbishments and the possible 2023 coaster at Worlds of Fun. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is speaking about the brand new uh, refurbishments for 2022 with the detonator being refurbished and the caps being repainted, uh, the antique cars getting a refurbishment, the super roundup attraction uh, getting a refurbishment as well. But the big focus for me is 2023 and the possible new roller coaster for that year. Now, I shared a couple of sites here. The site I'm probably going to go with the most at this current stage, this very early stage, is you know, that area, of, you know, with the antiques cars on one side and the detonator on the other. I just think with the refurbishments taking place this year, I think it's a foregone conclusion, in my opinion, even at this early stage, that that will be the site where this new attraction takes place. Now, what they'll introduce, I'm not too sure. I do have a couple of interesting theories, though. One theory is a single rail coaster, because let's face it, worlds of fun, perfect capacity for a single rail coaster, in my opinion. Could be wrong, but comment down below if I am. Um, I think a single roller coaster isn't the most expensive one either, so I think out of the possible coasters you could admit to bringing in, I think that could be great. 
The other option is a B&M dive coaster. Now, again, I could be really wrong with this, but I just think it could be really cool to see a B&M dive coaster just dominate that side of the theme park. Um, especially when you've got Patriot, the B&M invert coaster, you know, towards the other side. So I think you'd have B&M invert one side of the park, dive coaster the other side of the park. I think it could be a really nice eyesight for, for the guests, for the GP and for the enthusiasts. If it was between those two only, if I was to go with any suggestions out of those two, which one would likely be it? I would probably go with probably go with the dive coaster because I think it would be a, a, a much more signature attraction. Um, but cost-wise, I'd probably see them going with the single rail out of the two. I think the single rail would be more cost-wise and cost-efficient. Uh, and I think it would still dominate the skyline like a dive coaster would do. But um, should be interesting. Should be interesting. We'll keep our eyes peeled. If we see any construction, we'll bring it to you here on the channel. But that's going to be it guys, for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, we'll keep our eyes peeled for any construction. This could be one of the big rumours to watch out for throughout this season and ready for an announcement in the summer. And for now, guys, my Miss Coast shall keep living the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a world of fun. Fantastic day.